going on everybody? DJ Go Ham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Fox News, baby. Today we got 60 mods on the testing list. We've got some more information on arena mode for console players. The next presentation for FarmCon 23 has been announced. Steam TV got updated again and we have a new unknown app. Maybe the next DLC? And we got 10 modders to talk about including some more map news and a new semi-truck from Julian F. Modding. Check a look. Take a look, check it out. Starting off with the mods and testing, today we have 60 mods on the testing list, 37 are in PC testing or stage one, and 23 are in console testing or stage two. Starting off with the mods in the first stage of testing, we have some notable ones like the XSITR, Lizard Colossus Harvesters Pack, and Fox Farms. Also in PC testing, we have Hickory Valley, International 46 Series Pack, Case IH Axle Flow 240 Series, and the Massey Ferguson 3700 AL. Rounding out PC testing, we have the Fixed Production Active 1986 Pickup Escort Vehicle, Iowa Plains View, and Eureka and Lazy Acre Farms. Jumping down to console mods and testing, we have some notable ones like New Mini Brun, Trailed Loader, and Shovel. Also in testing, we have Carpathian Countryside, Crockin Farm, Wheelbarrows, and Massey Ferguson 8700S, which is one of my favorites. Rounding out console testing, we have the Buildable Feedlot Pack, Steiger Tiger 4KP525 and Case IH 9190, Aquaring Homefeld, Frogs for Pond, and the Fed Farmer 300. With all that being said, we still have 172 mods that he waited to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is about 9 work days. Yesterday, the Arena and Bell Stacking multiplayer modes were added as a beta for PC players in Farm Sim 22, and today, we've got some information for console players. Giant Software have said, once the beta period ends, they plan to release these modes on consoles as well. So, if you guys play on Xbox or PlayStation, you should be getting these game modes soon too, but how soon? Well, we're not really sure. My guess would be maybe in a month or so, but we'll probably have to wait and see. Giant Software have also announced another presentation for FarmCon 23 Publishing News, hosted by Boris, ahead of publishing at Giant Software. There are very few people on Earth that can match this dude's energy, not even me, so you know it's gonna be a good one. FarmCon 23 is at the Duis 4 Arena in Lauingen, Germany on July 1st and 2nd, and if you guys are coming to the event, make sure to track me down and say, what up, dude? All right, it's tinfoil hat time again. Get them on ya. Another unknown app has popped up on the SteamDB page for FarmSim 22. This is where all DLCs are entered and tested before the public release, and this entry was added two days ago. We're not really sure exactly what it could be. Maybe it's the arena modes for consoles, but I would probably guess this is the next DLC. At this point, I would say we're probably a month away or so from finding out what this is. Maybe two weeks, but... That's also when Farm Sim 23 will be releases, so I don't know. But of course, this is all speculation and just going off previous trends. If you've forgotten, pack number two is described as machines to rule the mountain. So we'll see what mountains exactly we're going to be ruling probably sooner rather than later as this DLC is set for mid-2023, so May, June, July, or August. So we should find out very soon. Yeah, that's not all though, because in the SteamDB updates page, we also saw a new addition yesterday to the community items. We've got the internal names, at least, of Farming Simulator 22, Look at My Horse, Ready for Harvest, Big Machinery, Winter Farming, Country Farmhouse, Idyllic Vineyard, Working Together, Aspiring Farm, and Booster Pack. Again, not sure what's going on here. Could be new achievements. I'll do my best to find out. Marcel! All right, that's enough speculating for one day. Let's move on to modern news, and we're going to start with a few maps. First one is Dusty Dave, who's got a new video of his map, Rudelmar, showing off the feeding of the sheep and showing us around the map just a little bit. He does say that the project is around 90% completed, and he's aiming for a release on all platforms once it's done. If you'd like to check out the video for yourself, I will leave a link below beside Riddlemore. The next map on our list, or rather maps, we have two of them, is Black Mountain and Hickory Valley. You guys saw Hickory Valley is in testing right now. However, the update for Black Mountain went into testing and completely... Uh, we have finished testing. It went and tested completed super fast. I can't read today. This usually means that a mod did fail. So he's taking the extra time to fix up some dump triggers and he's adding more product spawn points at the sawmill. 82 Studio went live last night showing off his detachable towing unit, aka the TLX DTU. There's also a new front weight in the form of a bull bar, which can be adjusted all the way up to 750 kilograms or 7,500 kilograms rather. And you can also lift it by hand when it's adjusted to its lowest weight to move it around. Of course, that's not all because he also showcased the TLX TU, which is a smaller version of the DTU. I'm pretty sure the one that here is the wrong one though. So, oh well, uh, looks like it's going to be working with the 3500 2022 and the 1982. So everything that's got attachments like the 3500. 
Check it all out. Link below. PC Bueller Farms brings us another update. Of not only his Volvo semi truck, but mainly for his Mac. He's been working on the green box textures and has completely redone those textures and made some new UV maps. He's also got new normal maps done with his latest technique, along with improvements to the grill on the Mac truck itself. He does say that progress will likely be slow for the next few months or so as he's going to be seeding in real life, but he's going to sneak back in for some modding when he's able. Quick tease today from Julian F. Modding. He has shared this screenshot right here, an international semi truck. I'm pretty sure this is the S series, but I could be wrong as I don't know a lot about semi trucks. So if you guys know exactly what it is, hey, let us know in the comments. And just a heads up, no other information was released with this, only the picture itself. Next up, we hear from Agrimods as their micro tractor pack has been sent off for testing officially for all platforms. Now it's just a waiting game. They are expecting about a one month waiting time before it's releasing, which is insane to think that it takes that long, but it usually is a shorter part of the process, the Giants testing. Either way, I will keep you updated on its progress as we know more info. Speaking of Macs and trucks, Mac Trucker 921 has something very cool for us, but it's neither. It's a loading wagon with a built-in windrow. We've seen this before, but he says that the mod is coming along very nicely, but it still has a long way to go. The modeling is done, and now he's working on the UVs, skinning, painting for dirt and wear, and of course, the UDOMs. After that, he'll be getting it in-game, and yes, It'll be for all platforms. Custom modding have some more screenshots and information about their Volmetal tanker for us today. The quad version is in game and almost done, so customer now working on the Tritum and the Tandem Axle versions. There's a ton of options between the three versions, so it's still gonna take a little bit of time to get everything done, but custom modding do say that they plan to have the pack ready for testing on mod up by next week. So Keep your eyes peeled. Rounding out the Farm Some News video today, we have a few bits for excavators. Starting with North Modding Company, aka NMC, they've announced their Roto Tilt R6 for Farm Some 22. They're currently working on this and we'll have some more information for us soon. This is just a mod announcement and it'll be for all platforms. And lastly, today, a bit more information. FS Miner has got a new pack called Excavator Tools that includes a rotator and a rake. The Roto Tilt gives you the ability to reach difficult spots on your work sites, and the rake is one tool that every forestry operation should have as it allows you guys to collect branches and cultivate the soil, and you can even remove the rake collisions too. That's pretty cool. The Roto Tilt upper attachment is compatible with every excavator and is equipped with the Volvo attacher, and the lower attacher connect can connect to the Volvo tools and every tool that is equipped with the S70 attacher, like the Gerstad pack. I want to thank FS Miner for sending over this pack to take a look at and for the early information. You rock, man. And you guys rock for hanging out till the end of the video. Did you know that just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description? And did you know that you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article on farmsomenews.com thanks to Yoast Modding? Do you remember that there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod is going to be released? Or that if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, uh, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. If so, you rock. And so make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Oh. It wasn't supposed to be a question at the end. I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, Farm Sim. Well, guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the news video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. That's it. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. So, speculation time. What do you think the next DLC is going to be?